Hi, my name is Kelly Potter. Uh, I'm a veterinarian that works for the Department of Environment and Primary Industries in Victoria. And uh, my grant is going to be used to uh, work on anthrax research in the Golden Valley uh, of Victoria, which is uh, where all of our past outbreaks in livestock of anthrax have occurred. And um, what I'll be doing is using a test called an ELISA that I'll be importing from the States to try and pick up antibodies to anthrax in surviving animals, mainly cattle, um, but I'll also be looking into uh, carnivores such as foxes and wild dogs and yep. potentially some wildlife. Hi, I'm Jane Kelly and I've been researching uh, liver fluke in dairy cattle in Mafra. I'm originally from Mafra itself and so I've been surrounded by the dairy industry my whole life. Uh, the research that I've done this year has been really affecting my local industry in terms of potential production losses in milk, specifically in dairy cattle, as a result of liver fluke infections, which is what my research is focusing on. There was a lot of research done in parasites in the early 1970s when we had all that research and development funding going on. No one's really looked at parasites since then because we had all those fantastic chemicals that came out in the market, so farmers could then, you know, put a drench on and kill those parasites. But those issues are starting to come back into the forefront because we also believe in combination with the high prevalence that some of these parasites are now becoming resistant to those drugs that the farmers have been relying upon. I will admit when I applied for this grant I didn't even think I'd have an opportunity to get this. I have been exceptionally grateful and it's very surprised that this opportunity has been given to someone who's only 25 and just beginning at their start of the career. It's a great head start um, for the industry trying to get those young people into it. It's a, an excellent platform to launch someone's career potentially into science um, expose you to different people, different networks, different agriculture. It's even inspiring to be here today and hear from people that are looking at cockroach skins or um, we had our spectrometer thing before looking at what they're great. So it's really great to be exposed to such broad areas. It's quite inspiring. But for me, for what I want to achieve such such an um, early on in my career, it's going to be a fantastic opportunity and it's something that for other young scientists when they find something that they're really passionate about, it just gives them that kick start to uh, get to make their, their footprint um, in their area of research.